Um, I'm incredibly confused this morning. Now, I'm not surprised because I have come to expect this from Fox News, but I will admit, I am a little bit surprised with the New York Post. Normally, I find the New York Post to be reliable and logical. New York Post, they are one of the primary sources that I use for information for this channel, but I am incredibly confused this morning. Did we watch the same debate last night? Were we watching the same candidates? One of two things have to be true here. Either Fox News and the New York Post were watching a different debate, or both of these media outlets are completely out of touch with normal people. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the one that's out of touch. Guess we're going to find out in the comment section of this video. Because I saw one superstar on that debate stage last night. I saw one man who showed signs of strength. Hell, I thought he was the only one who actually showed signs of life. I saw one man who was not afraid to attack the establishment. I saw one candidate who was the clear winner of that debate. Vivek Ramaswamy, but he was not the debate winner according to Fox News and the New York Post. No, 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 no. Headline at the New York Post, impressive Haley shines while stupid Vivek self-destructs. Um, excuse me? Come again? Your biggest takeaway from this debate was that Nick Haley was a shining star? Can you tell me why? Well, KC, she is a proficient runner in high heels. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's great. If I'm building a roster for a track and field team, Nikki Haley, she'll be my number one draft pick. But I'm not looking for a track star. I'm looking for a president. I'm looking for a leader. I just don't see leadership qualities in Nikki Haley. Last night, I saw someone who was folding under the pressure. If you can't handle the pressure of a debate, how are you going to handle the pressure in the most stressful job in the world? It is abundantly clear to me that Fox News and the New York Post, they are in bed with Nikki Haley and Ron DeMantis. Perhaps they even double date on the weekends. It is abundantly clear to me that Fox News and the New York Post, they do not want Vivek Ramaswamy to gain any traction. Question is, why? Why? Now, Fox News is going to tell you that the clips I'm about to show you are the reason why, but I ain't buying it. Last night, Vivek Ramaswamy, he was on an absolute mission. I get the sense that he's feeling just like you and me are. He's tired of the status quo. He's tired of the same old talking points. He's tired of a Republican Party that doesn't have any youth. This party does not have any energy to it. Last night, Vivek Ramaswamy, he was giving them the business. I mean... No one was off limits. He went after the debate moderators. He went after Ronald McDonald, the huge embarrassing failure that is driving the RNC Titanic directly into the iceberg. And he damn sure went after Nick Haley. These clips, these clips are the reasons that Fox News will claim that they cannot support Vivek Ramaswamy. Watch it for yourself. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first? Or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? All right, Mr. In which case, we've got two of them on stage tonight. I'd first like to say they're five-inch heels, and I don't wear them unless you can run in them. Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Your adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. You're just the easy scum. Who's moderating this debate? This should be Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, and Elon Musk, we'd have 10 times the viewership. We've got Kristen Welker here. Do you think the Democrats would actually hire Greg Gutfeld to host a Democratic debate? They wouldn't do it. And so the fact of the matter is, I mean, Kristen, I'm going to use this time because this is actually about you and the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? Answer the question. Go. Mr. Ross. Sorry. First of all, Vivek Ramaswamy going after Nikki Haley's daughter, that was a low blow. Now, even though her daughter is an adult, I just don't feel that it's necessary to bring family members into politics, especially when those family members aren't involved. 
So that was definitely a low blow from Vivek Ramaswamy. I'll give them that. But that does not mean that this was an example of sexism. That does not mean that this was an example of mythical misogyny. I turn on my TV this morning, getting ready to drink my coffee and watch the challenge. Before I could pull up my DVR, I noticed that Fox and Friends were talking about the debate last night. Now, normally I don't watch Fox and Friends. I find the show to be painfully boring, but they were talking about this exchange between Vivek Ramaswamy and Nick Haley, so I wanted to hear them out. The segment, the segment started innocently enough with Brian the Kill Me claiming that Vivek Ramaswamy was throwing bombs. <laughs> All right, fair enough. But it didn't take long for the segment to devolve into an illustration of woke boner words. Ainsley Earhart said, women don't like it when you go after their daughter and their high heels. It's sexist. How? How in the hell is that sexist? It's not just Fox News and the New York Post calling it sexist. There are other conservative media outlets that are running with the same talking point. Vivek Ramaswamy is a sexist. Did you see him verbally attack that poor woman? Oh, it's misogyny. It's sexism. Um, just because a man verbally spars with a woman, that does not make that man a sexist. This is the type of shit that we have got to move past. Fox News is trying to turn Nikki Haley into the ultimate victim. I don't know about you guys. I am tired of people playing the victim. I don't want a president who plays the victim. I want a survivor. Growing up, my dad pounded it into my head that I should never hit a woman. I mean, that's obvious, right? But when he was teaching that same lesson to my sister, he included a caveat. He would tell my sister, never let a man hit you. God forbid, though, you find yourself in an abusive relationship. You call me or your brother, we will come handle it. However, and this is a very big however, don't come to me crying because you were hitting some dude in the face and he defended himself. My dad always made it a point to tell my sister, do not put yourself in a man's place. If you don't want to be treated like a man, don't put yourself in a man's place. Now, that same sentiment, it applies here with Nikki Haley. She wants to be able to throw rocks at Vivek Ramaswamy, and then she wants to hide her hand. She wants to attack him, but as soon as he returns fire, oh, this man is attacking me. As soon as he returns fire, Fox News, they want to label him a sexist. You can't have it both ways. You can't put yourself in the political arena and throw shots at all these dudes and then try to pull your woman card when they throw shots your way. If you don't want to be called out, stay out of the debate. But Nikki Haley was not the only female victim in the Republican debate last night. Vivek Ramaswamy, he is also being criticized for calling out Kristen Welker from NBC News. Now, you saw in that clip I shared with you, he called her out and put her on the spot for reporting the Russian collusion story, a story that was proven to be false. That poor woman, she was just a moderator. It was another example of sexism from Vivek Ramaswamy. He would not have done that if her name was Chris Welker and she identified as a he. Vivek Ramaswamy was 100% right here in what he said. Matter of fact, he was right when he questioned why NBC News was hosting this debate to begin with. NBC News, the same company that donates woke welfare to the wicked weave of the woke, Joy Reid. The same company that holds a leadership position at Woke United Methodist. The same news organization that has guests on their network that are supporting Palestine and are anti-Israel. I think it's a valid question. What the fuck is NBC News doing hosting this debate? This is one of the many reasons that Vivek Ramaswamy went after Ronald McDonald. She took over the RNC. The Republican Party has done nothing but lost ever since. The direction of this party is antiquated. Hell, they spent a significant amount of time last night debating abortion. Again, we are talking about abortion again? Am I the only one that thinks there are far bigger issues going on right now besides abortion? Seriously, 
We've got a war in the Middle East. Who in the hell knows what's going on in Ukraine? And honestly, who cares? Let the Ukrainians deal with their own problems. We have a college education system that has turned into indoctrination centers. We have families struggling to afford groceries. We have millions of families who are living paycheck to paycheck. We have a southern border that spread wider than the bruised caboose after a weekend at Club Shay Shay. Gas prices are still high. I saw a headline the other day that was celebrating John Biden for getting gas on under three dollars a gallon. Woohoo! Come along, kids. We can finally afford to take that family on the Sunday drive on our gas-powered scooter. We have a housing system that is being set up to make lower-class families permanent renters. A single mother who is making seventy-five grand a year, she can't afford a house right now. Hell, she can barely afford to rent. 75 grand a year, that used to be a comfortable living. Today, if a single mother is making $75,000 a year, she's living paycheck to paycheck. You get the point. We have all these major problems, and you want to keep talking about abortion? Here's a simple solution for abortion. Don't get pregnant. It's not that hard. Actually, it's quite simple. Be responsible for yourself. Don't get pregnant. If you're a dude, don't get a girl pregnant. Now, I know abortion is a big talking point, a big issue for the shit fucks, which never really made sense to me because they'll never have the need for an abortion. Their men are identifying as women, never getting pregnant. Their women are identifying as men and claiming to be heterosexual because they fornicate with other women, never getting pregnant. The point is, we have more serious issues right now than to be wasting time debating about abortion. Let the individual states decide for themselves and move the fuck on. Earlier, though, I asked why Fox News and the New York Post seem to be against Vivek Ramaswamy. The Republican establishment is damn sure against him, but the media is supposed to remain unbiased. Now, I know that never happens, but that's how the media is supposed to work. In my opinion, the reason Fox News doesn't want to see Vivek Ramaswamy gain popularity, he is a disruptor. He wants to disrupt the Republican Party. He wants to change directions. It's the same thing Donald Trump did back in 2016, which is also the reason that Fox News and the Republican establishment turned against him. They don't want any disruptions. They, want, they don't want outsiders coming in. They want to keep the status quo. But the reality is, no one on that debate stage last night has a chance at winning this nomination. Vivek Ramaswamy knows that he has no chance at winning, but I don't think he's running for president. He's been the only candidate that's pretty much refused to attack Donald Trump. Due to smart, I think Vivek Ramaswamy is running for vice president. I think he's running to back Donald Trump, which is good news for the Trumper because Vivek Ramaswamy, he would be a hell of a lot better as vice president than Mike Spence, and anyone would be better than the pretend vice president that we have right now. Cam Harris is only good at one thing, laughter. Hey, Cam, have you been to the southern border? <laughs> I've been to Taco Bell, does that count? Anyway, give me your thoughts. I think Fox News is getting more and more out of touch with normal people. I think we're going to continue to see legacy media decline. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe I'm the one who's out of touch. You tell me. Do you guys still believe in the direction of Fox News? Also, give me your thoughts on the debate last night. Who was the winner? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. I appreciate you guys and your continued support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.